Hello everyone, my name is Teresa with Chapstick and Succulents and in this video, I'm going to show you why you need to trim your succulents. This video is inspired by my friend Rachel who sent me a photograph of her succulent that has gone too long and is asking me for some advice on how to take care of it. First of all, let me show you this colorful sedum that has been trimmed and now has so many new growths. And if you're interested in trimming your succulents to grow your collections, then this video is for you. When I first started the succulents, all I wanted to do was simply to make arrangements. So I collected different varieties to use for my projects and experimented different ways of displaying them. The more unique the project is, the more I'm inspired to do it because then I can show how versatile succulents are. The sizes and shapes of the succulents that I use vary depending on the project that I'm working on. If I make miniature arrangements, I look for the small succulents that I can find in the garden. If the project is big, like this wall frame, then I would use larger plants. But if the container is tall, then I would use longer plants and some trailings as well. Because I make arrangements, I got introduced to different ways of propagating the succulents. At first, I used only rooted ones for my projects. But when I found out that cuttings can survive for days even without being planted in the soil, and that it is so easy to propagate from cuttings, every time I get a new variety, I would propagate them first. In order for the cuttings to stand in the soil, I need to remove the bottom leaves. And when the leaves that I collected started growing as well, I got hooked to leaf propagation. But this video is not about propagation from leaves or propagation from cuttings. I will be showing you what happens to the mother plant after they were trimmed and compare them to the plant that was just left to grow. But why would you trim your succulents? When they grow too long and heavy, they can fall off and look unsightly. Obviously, they would need some trimming. Another reason is when you have them in an arrangement. When they begin to outgrow the container, you don't really need to uproot them and replant them again. You can just simply trim the longer ones and you will be rewarded by new growth. And the container arrangement can be restored back close to its original look. You can also trim if you want them to look fuller like this. Or you can remove the dead leaves and dead branches so that new sprouts will grow. Of course, not all succulents can be trimmed like this. This kind of propagation works best for succulents that have stems or branches. Because some can produce offsets that sprouts at the base of the mother plant. And of course, the way to propagate this one is different. I promise to show you the difference between the plant that was left to grow versus the one that was trimmed, and here it is. Here you can see that the one that was not trimmed continued to grow longer, whereas those that were trimmed become more fuller. Take a look at these Kalankoi pink butterflies. This is actually one of my favorite succulents because this one really stands out in the garden. The pink plantlets on its leaves look like flowers at a distance, but when they drop on the ground, they cannot form into new babies because they lack chlorophyll. I left this one untrimmed and as it matured, it grew longer and the leaves started to spread apart, losing all the pink plantlets. But even though there are hundreds of them that dropped on the ground, nothing really grew in there. On the other hand, I trimmed the one that I planted in my fairy garden, and look at the result. I even planted the top part that I beheaded and removed some dried flowers. To my surprise, I found a lot of new babies growing in there. And look at these fire sticks. These can grow taller and longer and more colorful in the sun. And when they get trimmed, they grow more fuller and more colorful young sprouts. I can go on and on giving you examples of what I find in the garden, but you know what? I will reserve that for our next video. Because in my next video, I'm going to teach you when is the best time and the proper way to do it. 
So, if you're interested with succulents and you want to learn with me, please don't forget to subscribe. And in case you're inspired to start collecting succulents, you can visit our website and check out if we still have more cuttings available. See you in my next video. Bye!